All right, shall I mock him? First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakha Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who are well, who have taught us His truth, who have spent power Yahweh Ba'ashem Ashai, and honors and salutations to the elect document, doing these works of sincerity and in truth. So, um, pretty much I'm entitled this. Um, what's um, what's stronger than everything else? You know, on the planet on on the planet Earth, okay. In the flesh, what's stronger than everything else, man? All right. The answer to that, man, is godliness, okay. And I ain't just saying that. I didn't just pull that from out of a hat. Okay. I'm going to get into it with the scriptures because that's what the scripture says. So, okay. So this is a wisdom of Solomon chapter 10 verses. I'll start at verse nine, actually, and get into the point. Right. It says. Wisdom of Solomon 10 and 9 says, But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. <laughs> now you see why I had to start there. That is one of the most baddest scriptures in 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 in, in this in, in the entire Bible, man. Okay. That's I don't usually say what's my favorite scripture, man, but that's like that's like top I'll say top ten scriptures, man. You know? Cause there's a lot of scriptures, man, but that's that's like top five, man. Let me read that again. Wisdom of Solomon 10 and 9. But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. You see? That's why you gotta move wise. Okay, you can be in a position to where you're about to receive serious pain from who's gonna give you pain? Your enemies, man. Okay? Or uh, 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 your stupidity you could slip and fall off a damn cliff alright you could piss off an animal but wisdom delivers you from that pain so therefore when all hell break loose and Esau intends to do this upon you do that upon you your wisdom is going to deliver you from that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmashah because guess what just as faith is a gift wisdom is a gift Right? Let me get the scripture for that. Because, yeah, just as faith is a gift, wisdom is a gift. This is, um, uh, wisdom, same book, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse, um, oh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 21. Mm -hmm. It says, Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, talking about wisdom, except the most I gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. I prayed unto the Lord and besought him. And with my whole heart, I said, okay. Jumping down to verse four. Give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne and reject me not from among thy children. See. And I had to read that to go back to wisdom of Psalm 10 and 9. But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her so do you praise wisdom because wisdom delivered you of course not you praise the power that gave it to you Yahweh Basham al Shai because it's a gift from the Lord and it sits at the right hand of the Lord so to speak no it's like it sits at the throne you know with the Lord so to speak man Salakia Yahweh Shai big brother sits at the right hand of Yahweh Shai but right there with them is wisdom so Salakia man for that all right, that was a slip of the tongue. That was Satan, man. You know, <laughs> f that. All right. You know, that was a slip of the tongue. But uh, wisdom of Solomon again, just to read wisdom of Solomon nine and four. Give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne. See, so that's why I slipped up with the words, because wisdom sits by the throne. You know, so to speak, man. All right. But yeah, how shy physically is on the right hand of the heavenly Father, man. Okay. But what's right there with them? The wisdom. All right. So, you know, the Lord is the one that gives you that wisdom, man. 
So again, wisdom of Psalm 10 and 9. But wisdom delivers, but wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. See? So hey, look. Hey man. Us brothers, man, I firmly believe we we're not gonna be the ones that get that get beheaded for this thing, man. Okay? Us out in the highways and byways that that's that 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 experienced, so to speak, you know, as what's been pushing as what's been pushed out lately through the spirit. You know, using wisdom, not moving as f Billy badasses and fools, but using wisdom. Nah, we Lord willing, we gonna be good, man. Why? Because again, it says, <laughs> I'm sorry, we gotta read it again. Wisdom, Psalm 10 and 9. But wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. Period. Verse 10. When the righteous fled from his brother's wrath, well, let me jump down because, you know, time's already. Time's really fast. You know. Verse verse I'm gonna jump down to verse 12. She defended him from his enemies and kept him safe from those that lay in wait. And then sore concrete, because you know how to move. You know how to move. <laughs> Yo, man, that's the spirit, man. Cause I'm sure, you know, certain brothers, alright? Might have been in the world in situations to where if they were stupid, if they was dumb, they could have been in a situation to where they got jumped, okay? Where they could have got jumped by some uh, fake, fake phony ass niggas. Where they could have got jumped or something like that, or they could have got set up, you know, to get beat up or whatever. But because wisdom was always dwelling with them through the spirit power of Yahweh by Hashem and Shai. They were able to move accordingly to get out of that, man. You see that? Yo, that's yo, that's bad, man. That's that's wow. That's bad, yo. That has that's 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 beautiful, yo. Right? So verse 12 again, she defended him from his enemies and kept him safe from those that lay in wait. See? You see? But now we not in the world no more. Now we on to bigger fish. You know, we no longer dealing with you little fish. You little peon, knucklehead ass, bum ass niggas, man. We on a bigger fish now. Bigger fish, same story, man. Okay? We still gonna be able to move with wisdom. We gonna be able to move even better through the spirit power of Yahweh Shema Shai. And escape from those that lay in wait for us. Which now is the big fish, man. Alright? Uh, so good, man. That is dying. I'll make this quick. It says, um, in in a sore conflict, she gave him the victory. Here it is. You know, here's what's the strongest, you know, thing on the planet Earth, right? Here's what true strength is on the planet Earth. It says that he might know that godliness is stronger than all. Okay, so so lucky that you had to tune in. Eight minutes, you know, to find out the answer, you know, if you didn't know it already, but that's what it is godliness, okay? That he might know that godliness is stronger than all, okay? Godliness is stronger than all, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> godliness is the strongest thing on the planet Earth, okay? Why? Because godliness covers a Let's go into it. Let's go into it. Let's go into it. First Timothy 4 and 7 says, But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. Okay? Why? Because godliness is stronger than all. It says, For bodily exercise is profit of little. Right, because that's what some could, some could think. What's the strongest thing on earth? Uh, muscles, duh. See? Somebody could say that. If you got muscles, you could beat the hell out of anybody. <laughs> See? But no, that's not the strongest thing on the earth. The strongest thing on the earth is godliness. You know? Or some, you might get a, a, a wise ass. Your mind. Ooh. Your mind. Right? Because uh, 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 your mind is your strongest muscle. Ooh. You know? Nope. Wrong. Actually, it's godliness, man. 
then those other things fall into play. Okay? Because it says for bodily exercise profit of little. It does pro profit. You know, it helps. But, what's the next word? But, godliness is profitable unto all things. Having promise of the life that is now and of the life which is to come. Okay? So let's get into godliness. Alright? Which I've already, already did a little digging. Right? Oh yeah, I looked up um in the blue letter blue letter blue letter godliness is reverence from the Greek word here first and foremost. Eusebia, it looks like. Eusebia, which says reverence, respect, piety towards the most high. Right? Now I already I already looked up um piety. Oh let me do it again. It's all good. It's on another uh Piety, right? So now we're going into how piety is stronger than all. Which piety, right, was an is a noun from the early 14th century. It says mercy, tenderness, pity. From the old French piety, piety, faith, pity, compassion. Right? Now we're getting deep into faith. That's right. Faith, man. It says from Latin, piet, pietatim, pietatim, it says dutiful, conduct, sense of duty. I'm going to skip that word because when you look into it, that's a bad word actually. It means to uh, restrain and hold back. Let me get my charge real quick. Alright, con. So it says dutiful, conduct, sense of duty. Loyalty, patriotism, yo, these are all getting into traits of what a soldier, a soldier of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, a soldier of the Most High. Okay, that's what true strength is. That's what's that's what's the strongest thing on the planet Earth. A soldier of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, which is guess what? That's us, Akim. Okay. We're stronger than all. Okay. We're stronger than all, man. That's getting into us. This is Psalms. This is Psalms. Why you think we're going to be rewarded spiritual powers? Why you think we're going to be rewarded the kingdom? This is Psalms 94 and 16. It says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? See? In America, the, they, 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 they want you to rise up against uh, uh, foreign and domestic terrorism. You got the damn commercial. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun 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 -dun. Fuck out of it, you know? And, 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 and they, they, you know, they're like all militarized. And pretty much they want you to rise up. <laughs> Come join and fight for the Marine. Fight for a good cause, you know? And we'll give you two years of free school. That's it. Yeah. Right. Come fight for the Marines. And we'll help you go to college for free. But after that, you on your own. Right. Guess what? You come fight for your Alba Shemal Shai. And he's going to give you. What he's going to give you. You can't even imagine. What we're about to be blessed with. Spiritual powers is it's, it's, it's unimaginable, man. The kingdom is going to be lit. So who so who you want to fight for, man? All right. And then if you don't want to fight for Yahweh and you're his enemy, you don't want to go down that road. So again, Psalm 90, 94 ninety four sixteen. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? Well, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? See, that's a soldier. That's a soldier of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The soldiers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is stronger than all. Alright? Because going back into the word piety, it says dutiful. What's our duty? What is our duty, man? It's our duty to go out there in the highways and byways and prophesy the downfall of this place 
and make making sure that our people have no cloak for their sins to tell our people to repent all right it's our duty to make our bodies a living sacrifice for your how about shim out shine man than to be set at defense for the gospel that is our duty man it says conduct right the way we all co conduct ourselves man right with faith with wisdom all right, not as fools, being circumspect, sense of duty, yeah, it's our sense of duty, man, okay, no matter what, you go out there in the highways and byways, man, okay, because that's our sense of duty, man, uh, that's what's in our, that's what's within our spirit, you know, when you in an area where you're not around brothers, you got to start your own camp, man, it's a sense of duty thing, man. If the Lord made it easy for you to camp, camp with brothers next to you and stuff, hey, hey, Barakatha, man. But at the end of the day, it's your sense of duty to go out there in the highways and byways, man. Scripture say putting out your trust in another man. What happens if everybody fell out? Then what the fuck you gonna do, man? Scripture say you have faith, have it for yourself. Each and every single one of us should be uh, uh, willing to camp by ourselves if it ever came down to it, man. Like I said, the Lord is a merciful power, so he made it so that it's not even so. You know? And camping with brothers is a beautiful thing, man. Yo, I remember praying for um, brothers that that was camping by themselves, that the Lord sent them some brothers to camp with, man. You know? But, um, still, it's... it's, it's it's your sense of duty, man. Like, I have to do this, bro. Period. Okay? And a brother with a mindset like that is a brother that, that's stronger than all. It says, skipping that word, like I said, piety, loyalty, right? Because that's loyalty. That's loyalty to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Yahweh Shai died for us. So, in return, we can make our bodies a living sacrifice for him. Okay, so we're in debt to the Lord. So that's loyalty, man. See? These are all the traits of Yahweh, of the soldiers of Yahweh Shemashah. We're here in the land of America. Okay? Where folly is set in great dignity. It's easy to become a millionaire. You know, uh, 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 uh. It's, 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 it's easy to get some box hair, man. Okay? It's easy to be an adulterer. It's, it's easy to do anything that you want. But what do we want to do? Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. We want to remember the Creator in the days of our youth. We want to follow Yahweh by Shema al Shai, man. Even though, that the, even though that the world will hate us for it. That's loyalty, man. True piety is the true men of the Lord, man. And don't think that this applies to you so-called Christians, man. Because you love the fucking world. You shaving, you eating crab, shrimp, lobsters, and pork. You kissing your wife's ass. Don't think this applies to you. This is for us, man. It says patriotism. Yeah. What's a patriot, man? A patriot is like a proud American. Stand and fight for his country. That's what we're patriots to Yahweh Bashem al Shah. Right? It says faithfulness to natural ties. Yeah. Whoo! Faithfulness to natural ties. Natural ties, man. What's natural? Our true heritage, man. Calling yourself a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, Native American, Seminole Indian. That's not natural. That is not natural, bro. That's GMO. That's genetically modified. That's a genetically modified name. But you gotta be faithful to your natural ties. Even when it's even when it ain't cool to do so. That's why scripture say if you have faith, have it to yourself, man. Meaning you have to believe this for your fucking self, man. Like I don't care what nobody fucking say. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't going off in the doctrine, as long as you ain't teaching no bullshit, as long as you sincere, you know, you got faith in your shot, I don't give a fuck, man. It is what it is, man. I don't care. See? 
Why? Because you have that faithfulness to natural ties, man. So in, in late Latin, gentleness, kindness, pity, right? And we may, we may be rough around the edges. You know what I'm saying? The radicals, the radicals. But we still ain't never laid hands on nobody, man. All right, unless they laid hands on us first, or they did some fuck shit, man. We ain't laid hands on nobody, bro. So, yeah, we still gentle with it, too. All right? So, that's what's the strongest thing on the planet Earth. The men of the Lord. Why? Because the men of the Lord carry themselves with godliness. And what's godliness? You see it right here. Piety, man. Okay? And that spirit came upon none other than Yahweh. Came upon us. From none other than Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So that's not for us to praise ourselves. It's not for us to think that we the shit. You know? It's not for us to uh, exalt ourselves. Okay? But it's all the praise and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because the second you think that you some hot shit, boom, that spirit could be taken away from you, man. Alright? So that is the strongest thing on the planet Earth, man. Godliness. So let me read it again. Wisdom of Solomon 10 and 12. She defended him from his enemies and kept him safe from those that lay in wait. And in a sore conflict, she gave him the victory that he might know that godliness is stronger than all. Okay? So godliness is stronger than all. Alright? And who carries that godliness? The true men of the Lord. So the true men of the Lord are the ones that are stronger than all things that are upon the planet Earth, man. Right? That's why women are gonna want to cleave unto us. And what do what what do they say in the world? Um, only the strong survive. Right? So who's truly the strong? The men of the Lord. So only the men of the Lord are gonna survive, man. Literally. In those that cleave unto Him, those that be of the one third. Men, women, and children. Alright? Only the strong survive, right? Well, what's now we know what's truly the strong. The men of the Lord, man. Okay? Right? Thus saith the scriptures, man. From Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Alright? So, you know, might as well. No, you know, I'm going to off right there, alright? So, all praise and all glory into Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Makal, Kadash. Alright, the bottom to the apostle of the great millstone, shalom to the elect.